Hello, if I may briefly introduce myself. Whiskers. Scott Whiskers. Since I think we'll spend quite a while together, and I already like you pretty well, I would like to apologise briefly. You surely expected an elaborate cutscene. Well, all that would cost trillions of bucks and my creator is honestly a pretty poor fellow. In fact, he thinks you should be happy that the game is even available in more than 256 colours. Furthermore, this game also has a certain educational mission, and it's meant to give my teenage audience an impression of how Grandpa experienced adventure games back in the early 90s, shortly after the invention of the second mouse button. And since historical authenticity is more important than gameplay, the game will now run in high resolution 320 by 240 pixels. Have fun! Nah, don't worry, just kidding. Of course I want you to use your 8K monitor to its full potential. So bygones be bygones and let's just get on with it. You probably know how to play an adventure game right, it's really quite simple. It's best to take a look at the controls first. You don't have to memorize the controls now, of course, unless you have a photographic memory. Then, I congratulate you. Unfortunately, I can only remember things for a maximum of five minutes. That's why it's good I can always look up the controls in settings. Hmm, where was I again? Ah yes. For example, say, if a phone suddenly starts ringing, move the mouse pointer over it, select the hand icon with the right mouse button, and use the phone. And if you're in a hurry, do a quick double click and I'll run like hell to fulfill your wish. <coughs> I said when a phone suddenly starts ringing. <coughs> Scott? Good morning. Had a good night's sleep? Hey Mary. Sure. Just struggled to get out of bed. What's up? Isn't it my day off? Ah, uh, yes. I know. And I am sorry. But we're having a medium-sized crisis here at the shelter. A crisis? Have you locked yourself out of the computer again? I told you your new password. No, no. Scott is great. I noted. Is this about grumpy Chucky? Is he still miffed because I fed his arch-rival first yesterday? Oh, Chucky is a sweetheart again. Has only cost me a brand new Valyrian mouse. My problem is that your colleague Jack has called in sick. Again! And I'm all alone here, and could use a hard-working helper like you. Flattery in the early morning? As much as I would like to help you, I have my day off today. I have nothing planned yet, but once I think of what I have in mind, it will certainly be great. Can you ask no one else? Scott? Mm, please? Your last name starts with a W making you the last on my short list of helpers to ask. If not for me, then do it for Chucky. And who knows, maybe you'll get to play with his Valyrian mouse someday. Hmm, you have convincing arguments. All right, even though I know that probably a bloodbath and no intoxicating mouse awaits me in the cat room, I can't refuse you anything, as usual. Give me an hour or so, then I'll be there. Thank you very much. You are the best. An hour, you say? That still gives me time to buy some cat food at the pet store. See you soon! See you later! Oh, Mary. She is a sweetheart, but as the manager of the local animal shelter, she's always trying to do too much and save the world. But I can understand her. I've grown fond of the furballs in the shelter too. Except for Chucky. That stupid cat can be quite an a** sometimes, and I'm pretty sure he's out to get me. The flush of my toilet. Use at your own risk. The soothing sound is something important in the time. The ticket's soaking wet. I can't show it to anyone. And in you go. Sizzle, sizzle. The 
Yikes. But as we all know, the end justifies the means. The door handle is missing. How am I ever going to leave my apartment again? Don't panic, Scott. Oh, my doorknob! It will probably forever remain a mystery how this thing got into my bed. I've probably been sleepwalking again. I should put the door handle back on the door. Fits like a glove. Cell phone collected? Check. Unpleasant smelling bus ticket on me? Check. Ready for an adventure? Check. Then off to the animal shelter to bury my leisure plans for this weekend in the litter box. Oh drat, I've left my phone on the bus. My beloved iCell 8 SE Pro. So this is it. After eight years together, just like that, without warning, I feel like an important part of myself has been ripped away. I feel almost naked. I feel very cold, deep sorrow, and, and also a little anticipation for the new iCell 12 Pro, which I will buy with the insurance money. But if I'm unlucky, some nice passenger might have left the phone with the bus driver, and I can pick it up later. I mean, if I'm lucky, of course. If I'm lucky! I better get right back to Mary. I'm sure there's a lot to do. Oh, Scott. How nice. There you are. You can't believe how happy I am that you didn't leave me hanging here today. No problem. I'm happy to help. Are you still busy creating profiles for our residents on our website? Yes. You wouldn't believe how much work it is. We had so many new arrivals lately. And after all, each of our two to eight-legged friends should be presented in the best light. And since Jack is absent today, the rest of the work is unfortunately left undone. Do you have any particular requests what I should do or just the usual? It would already suffice if you could tidy up the hallway a bit and feed our cats. I will take care of everything else when I have finished writing the profiles. So first swing the broom and then the predator feeding. You got it. I better get to work right away too. Thank you very, very much. You are the best. I would not disagree with that. Good. Now get to work. Good work, Scott. One less death trap. A professional couldn't have done it better. And it's always good to have a little snack with you. Because you never know if you'll run into a lion or elephant in the rural regions here. Clean work. This is Cuddly Jimmy. He's my absolute favourite, and if my apartment wasn't so tiny, I would have adopted him long ago. Dreamy Jenny's a great cat and deeply relaxed 24 hours a day. Grumpy Chucky is a constant threat to my life. 
Slowly, I'm getting hungry too. Perfect. I think my work here is done. I better tell Mary the good news right away and get my well-deserved praise from her. Good. Less intelligent animals than the noble creatures in this room can probably use the rubber bone more. Back again? Is there anything else I can do for you? I proudly report the completion of my work. Well done. Well done! And since you're still alive, you must have survived your reunion with Grumpy Chucky well. Yeah, today everything went well. Nevertheless, the cat urgently needs therapy to get his aggressiveness under control. Ideally with concomitant drug therapy for immobilization. My grandpa's been getting marijuana on prescription for a while now and he's been super relaxed since. Are you seriously suggesting drugging the cat? I'm open to anything that serves the common good. And let's be honest, Chucky is a danger to the common good. Especially my common good. I can show you again the scars on my arm where the cat swung back and forth for five minutes like on a tree swing. That was certainly a painful affair. Still, I'm in favour of trying a while longer with love and understanding. Very well, you are the boss. But if you should ever find me bleeding in the cat room with my throat slit, know that my vengeful spirit will haunt you forever. I will deal with that when the time comes. Is there anything else on your mind? Will Jack be back soon? I certainly hope so, even though he officially called in sick. I could hear the Star Trek theme loud and clear in the background of our phone call, so I think he'll be fine by the end of the season. Yeah, that sounds like Jack. The only thing he loves more than four-legged friends are his TV shows. It's a good thing you have no use for such distractions. Ever since my television stopped working, I've become a completely new person. Whereas before, I was trapped in endless reruns of Starship Enterprise the next century. Now, I explore the galaxy on my own. I'd almost call it a spiritual experience. Life without TV is possible. Hallelujah! Oh, you are an inspiration to us all. And while we're at it, don't forget about the Netflix evening planned at Jack's this Friday. The new episode of Starship Discovery is on. Of course. What else could I do? My TV's broken. Jack's isn't. The TV you no longer miss? That's the one. So Friday then, at Jack's. Yep. Is there anything else on your mind? What's new? Do we have any new additions to the shelter again? Yes. Unfortunately, someone left a small box with a dachshund puppy in front of our front gate again last night. With a note, please take care. Oh no, the poor little fellow. Of all dogs, dachshunds are my favorite. In another life, these intelligent mouse hunters would probably have become cats. I have often thought about what a cross between a dachshund and a cat would look like, and what it would be called cat dachshund. Dachshund cat, catund, or Dax cat. I think further considerations are necessary for a final evaluation. Anyway, I think I'm rambling. I really hope this little guy makes it and finds a new home quickly. Yes, that would be nice. He is now in quarantine for a week and will then join the rest of the pack. Surely he won't be our guest for long. Small fluffy Dachshund puppies are popular with 7 to 27 year olds. I think so too. I'll also create a profile for our newcomer on our website. Is there anything else on your mind? He's still looking for the man of your dreams. Yes, unfortunately. You wouldn't believe how hard it is for a single woman with eight cats to find the right man. Eight cats? When there's seven just a fortnight ago. That's right. But who is counting? Another little saw sneaked into my heart and decided to stay. I could not deny it. One would think that a soul as good as yours would have found a suitable male counterpart long ago. Lovely for you to say that. I'm just afraid that, as far as my taste in men is concerned, is not in harmony with my good soul. I'm more into the bad boys, you know. A wild street fighter who doesn't care about the rules and knows how to get by in life. An outlaw, for whom only the law of love counts. A vagabond who feels only connected to his girl. A fugitive who flees into the arms of his beloved submissively. A pirate ready to sail into the harbor of marriage. A bully 
who makes a racket to preserve the honor of his spouse. Try finding a man like that. Challenge accepted. I'll keep my eyes open for you. Well, color me intrigued. If you find one, you know where I am. And if the subject comes up, I currently only have seven cats. Number eight should then be a surprise. My relationship guide says that men love surprises. Is there anything else on your mind? That was all. Bye. See you soon. Always carry Syrian headache tablets with you. That's right. Because Syrian is potent, well tolerated, and safe to use from the age of 14. Syrian. Now new with raspberry flavor. Syrian. The delicious pleasure for the whole family. Enjoy. I have unfortunately already reached my limit today with eight tablets and am completely clear in the head. This looks like a cat missing flyer. I wonder who's missing. Just as I thought. A missing cat. And a very pretty one at that. Let's see. Maybe I can help you. I see. A Lord Fumbleclaw is wanted. From a family named Longbottom. Mm, that sucks. There's only a phone number. No address. I could also call directly if my cell phone wasn't doing its rounds on the bus without me as a fair dodger. But like this? Hmm. You, tell me. Do you possibly know anything about this leaflet left on your table? The one from the missing high-class kitten. Exactly. Unfortunately, there's only a phone number, no address. Are you serious? You don't know the Longbottom family and their elite estate. Longbottom? Never heard of them. Do you have to know them? You don't read gossip magazines, do you? Lord and Lady Longbottom are a constant topic. He, 8th generation English landed gentry and renowned amateur archaeologist. She, 20 years younger and proven expert at the finer things in life with a strong tendency toward eccentricity. The trade press has been eagerly anticipating the failure of this illustrious connection for years. Sounds to me like this is just a symbiotic ploy to sell more gossip magazine subscriptions. No, this is all real, all authentic. Real stories from the lives of the rich and beautiful. Uh-huh. All very interesting. Just. How exactly does that help me now in the search for Mr. Fumbleclaw? Well, everyone knows the Longbottom family estate. Everyone but Scott. True, everyone but you. Say, do you still have your permanent ticket for the local bus line? Yeah, of course. Ever since I was a little boy, I've loved taking a relaxed bus ride through the area. Well, there you have it. The Longbottom estate is one of the bus stops on Route 66. You can't miss it on the bus stop anyway. A golden dollar symbol marks the bus stop where you need to get off. Apparently, one of the employees of the local transportation company was playing a tasteless joke. Very well, then I'd better pay a timely visit to Lord Longbottom. There's only a phone number on the leaflet, but I prefer to discuss the important things face to face. And what could be more important and urgent than a missing cat? You are absolutely right, and you'll get to know the Longbottom family up close. How I envy you, and good luck finding Mr. Fumbleclaw. Please let me know when you have found him. Sure will. So then, a noble creature in distress, a family in deep despair. Sounds like a new case for Scott Whiskers. I'd better get going. I wonder if there's something to Mary's fascination with this illustrious family. Elegant cast iron gate. Looks like late art noble architecture. I don't think it's locked, but as long as the little yapper is waiting for me on the other side, I don't step foot through the gate. Be gone, you little barker. Then I will prove to you why we humans are the superior species. Who's a good stupid boy? Who's a good stupid boy? And goodbye. Goodbye forever. <laughs> I feel pretty smart right now. All that was necessary is the triumph over a supposedly superior creature. 
an intercom system. Looks like it's seen better days. Hello, this is Scott Whiskers from the City Animal Shelter. It's about their missing cat, Mr. Fumbleclaw. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Hmm. Hello? Does this thing work? Come to me! Oops. This was unexpected. This old technology is also no longer what it once was. I better take the evidence of the mishap. My law professor calls this plausible deniability. How good that I at least paid attention in this lecture. Well then. Unfortunately, I have to interrupt you at this point. How'd you like the game so far? I can see from your mischievous grin that you're very enthusiastic. How nice. I'm sure you'd like to pause the adventure game at this point. Tell your friends about me, wouldn't ya? Well? Still there. So you're eager to keep playing. I think that's great. Then support this great game with a small donation on Kickstarter. Or if you read this in the distant future, take a look at the homepage, www.scottwhiskers.com, where you can buy me. Hmm, that sounded somehow ambiguous. Whatever. You know what I meant, don't you? I feel a little sorry for having to beg now. But Axel urgently needs to buy cat food. His kittens also only eat the premium stuff. And that's really expensive. Every cent really counts. Well, so that's how it is. Please don't be angry if I beam you back to the start menu now. But in any case, I'm very happy to get to know you. And I really hope we see each other again soon. On that note, see you soon. Or as Spock would put it, live long and prosper.